Here's a very pertinent question that is very front of brain for Broncos country right now from Scotty Partridge on Facebook. Thanks for being with us, Scotty. He says, how can the line coached by Mike Munchak look so bad? Zach, we're scratching our heads on this as well. You know, I mean, just real quick, and then I'm going to serve this over to you. Garrett Bowles is the one shining example of a guy that's doing a good job. But then you go to Dalton Reisner, second round pick, a year removed, regressed. Lloyd Cushenberry really needed those 1,400 offseason reps that they lost. Not, you know, he's he's barely treading water, if that. Graham Glasgow has missed three games now, two to, two to the virus and one to an injury. And when he's been on the field, he just hasn't been that glue that, that you expected on a four-year, $44 million contract. And then the right tackle, of course, Zach, has been a turnstile. So on one hand, that kind of explains a lot. But really, Zach, I think it comes down to the fact that offensive linemen do not receive the type of position coaching in college uh, that they used to. And so every offensive lineman enters the NFL somewhat behind the eight ball. They need those offseason reps. In fact, if there's any position group right now, more the most impacted by the lack of offseason is probably the offensive line. And then, of course, Drew Luck. But is there any possibility that maybe Mike Munchak, he's not this all-knowing, all-doing God? Is there any possibility that's why he's no longer in Pittsburgh, Chad? I mean, I'm not saying he's a horrible coach, but he everyone thought every he would touch every player. They become gold. They become all pros. That didn't happen. It, it actually turned out the opposite. Like you mentioned Dalton Reiser's regression. That's evident as well, and that's the biggest blight, I think, on Munchak's 2020 resume. And I also counter with... Is it Mike Munchak getting this out of Garrett Bowles or the monetary incentivization from Garrett Bowles, not having a contract, playing for a new deal? I, I think a lot of it has to do with that as well, and also his reputation around the league as being this horrible tackle. I'm sure Mike Munchak has helped, but everybody else in that line has gotten worse, and that's a theme.